Hello, hope you're well today. Today's devotional comes from the Taglitch's Man of the Amish Devotional. It's uh, written by Melvin Yoder from Delano, Tennessee. It's titled Lazarus. We'll begin with a reading from the, the Bible, the uh, book of John, chapter 11, the, the raising of Lazarus from the dead by Jesus. Beginning with verse 38, Jesus, once more deeply moved, came to the tomb. It was a cave with a stone laid across the entrance. Take away the stone, he said. But Lord, said Martha, the sister of the dead man, by this time there is a bad odor, for he has been there four days. Then Jesus said, Did I not tell you that if you believe you will see the glory of God? So they took away the stone. Then Jesus looked up and said, Father, I thank you that you have heard me. I knew that you always hear me, but I said this for the benefit of the people standing here, that they may believe that you sent me. When he had said this, Jesus called out in a loud voice, Lazarus, come out. The dead man came out. His hands and feet were wrapped of strips of linen and a cloth around his face. Jesus said to them, take off the grave clothes and let him go. In Luke chapter 16, we read of a Lazarus who wished to eat the crumbs from the rich man's table. We don't read that he did anything noteworthy. The fact that he was laid at the rich, ma at the rich man's gate and had sores with the dog, which the dogs licked, indicates that he must have been sickly and unable to work. Lazarus in today's text may have been a sickly man as well. We don't know. The name means without help. Was Lazarus unable to help himself? We don't read of anything great either of these men did. So were their lives a waste? Certainly not. By patiently accepting their lot in life, both filled very important places in God's kingdom and in the New Testament. By human nature, we are fond of recognition. We want to do something great and worthwhile that people notice. Yes, we should seek a worthwhile life. There is no blessing in wasting our time in worthless pursuits or lazy idleness. We are told to do good unto all men. Galatians 6.10 We will be judged by our deeds. But if God chose to make us a Lazarus who is not able to do much, we need not despair. The important thing is to have the true faith. Perhaps God enables us to write letters of encouragement to others in the heat of life's battles. When we get visitors, we can cheerfully answer their questions. If they take interest in knowing how we are doing, we should tell them and include some things we are thankful for. Let us also take an interest in their families, neighbors, and friends. Let us always remember to express appreciation to our caregivers. Our faith and thankfulness can be a help and encouragement. Let's not forget Lazarus, one of the best known names in the Bible. God had a great mission to accomplish through both of them. What can you, to do, what can you do today that is uh, perhaps in the grand scheme of things, well, as far as the world goes, insignificant, and yet maybe greatly significant in the scheme of uh, someone's life that you might be able to help. Um, a hand that you might be able to hold, um, an encouraging word that you might be able to give to somebody. Um, we need encouraging words in this world of ours. So look for the opportunities that you have so that you can live a worthwhile life. Maybe you won't go down in the history books, probably not, but that doesn't mean that your life is not worthwhile and is not um, uh, uh, a glorifying life um, to the Lord. So, well, you get what I'm saying. Let's pray. Father, thank you for this word. Help us to be encouraged that we can. We can be someone who, um, who, who helps, who does worthwhile, godly things as we reach out to help others and to love others and to care for others and do what we can with whatever it is you've given us to, uh, to use uh, to do these things with. Lord, help us to just trust you and do good unto all men, 
all women, all people. And we pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Thanks. We'll see you soon.